This is one of a growing number of fires putting Quebec communities at risk. For some, the threat is imminent. The 2,000 residents of La Belle sur Quevillon have left, and as flames and smoke closed in, even some firefighters had to get out. On veut garder notre ville. We want to keep our town, says Mayor Guy Lafreniere, but with the winds and no rain in the forecast, he says he doesn't know what the coming days will bring. Tous les chemins forestiers sont barrés. Jenny Fortier had to leave her home quickly on Friday. She had to abandon her cats, and it's too dangerous to go back. We don't even know if we'll see our houses again, she says, or our town the way it was. In Satil, thousands of residents forced from their homes still can't return. There are still concerns about the fire's progress. Our priority is to protect our citizens. Canadian Armed Forces members are here for backup, learning to use the firefighting tools they'll need. We're just going to be there, you know, next to a set of, uh, of hands to, to help out. That help is badly needed. There are more fires burning than the province can handle, and resources are stretched. One fire destroyed a fishing outfitter owned by the Inu community of Washat Mak Maniutinam. Everything was uh, burned and... Uh... It's a very, uh, very big loss for the community of Washat McMaintinam. But that community has support. Senator Michelle Odette came to help her mother and other evacuees in the First Nation of Pesimit. I went where they wanted to, me to be, and the kitchen. We serve uh, close to 1,000 meals almost per day. Uh, it's a lot, and it's also comfort food to reassure them. As the fires continue, Quebec is getting help from firefighters from the U.S. and France, and it could turn to other countries for more support, too. Alison Northcott, CBC News, Montreal.